Here's the solution of students participating in the Excellence 2000 program to the water shortage in Israel, the development of portable facilities for the desalination of seawater using green energy. The facilities were designed and developed as part of a contest, part of Gilder family projects and inventions. The truth is that it's real fun. We do this with friends, work together with joint forces to create this big project. It's not so easy. Each friend gives his own input in order that the project succeeds. The goal of the Gilder Family Projects and Inventions program is to meet the challenge of using creativity and knowledge to give ninth grade students the opportunity to become young inventors. It's not only for a science, it really promotes excellence throughout education. And these are our future scientists. These are the future builders of the state of Israel. On scene at the Israel Center for Excellence, we meet also a group of students and teachers who came from the U.S. for the contest. So we see our portable water desalination device that runs on green energy. It's powered by bicycle, which runs through, which runs a pump that pushes water through two reverse osmosis systems to desalinate the water. Keep driving. Keep driving. Okay, we don't have any more water in this. Three schools participated from the New York area. This one was judged by the people from its unit Alpayim to be eligible for the Gildor competition. Each year the students tackle a challenging world problem. This time the world problem is very close to their hearts as the state of Israel is dealing with a serious water shortage crisis. We have a continuous water shortage. The Kinneret Lake is getting drier and drier. We simply need water. We've heard that it's very, very bad, um, that there's you know drought sometimes, especially just with the desert climate. Um, the rain doesn't come all year round like it does um, in America. And you know, in America, you know, we take it for granted. There's just going to be water there, but we know in Israel, you know, even maybe in some places, they're shutting off water for certain times during the day to try to conserve it. As long as we don't have enough water, we will not stop trying to find ways to desalinate seawater. This also gives much satisfaction, and we know that we're also helping the state. It was really exciting and a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it. I think my team really enjoyed it, and we really had a great time, and we really hope we can help in some way, however small. This whole event is about water desalination, and so the first question that comes to mind when we sit to discuss this issue with a representative of Israel's water company is, why is the Mediterranean Sea not yet being used to generate desalinated water. The process uh, of desalination is cheap enough to produce desalinated water is called reverse osmosis and this process matured only in the last let's say five to seven years. It reached a reasonable uh, price of water of about 80 American cents per cubic meter. Before that the cost of desalinated water was prohibitive and also the demand was not picking as quickly as it's picked in the last ten years.